Muslevan told Express.co.uk, she didn't get on particularly well, or at all, with Diana, but she didn't get on with Camilla either. Anne, of course, went out with Andrew Parker Bowles who married Camilla, so they had similar a taste there. But over time they got close, she sees now how hard Camilla has worked, she sees how much happier and stronger and more accessible Charles is and they now get on very well. One recent detail from the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth II is key in showing how the bond between the Queen Consort and the Princess Royal have strengthened over the year, Ms. Levin suggested. She said, Camilla sat next to Anne at the funeral, and I am quite sure they could have asked for different places had they wanted to, they were there obviously supporting each other. Discussing what brings Anne and Camilla together, Ms. Levin added, they have got a lot in common, they both love horses, they both love dogs, they both care about the monarchy and they are of similar age. It's very interesting how relationships change, and this is one which really changed for the better. In her book, Ms. Levin reported the view of another royal author, Robert Hardman, on the relationship between the Princess Royal and Queen Consort. Mr. Hardman said, Camilla and Anne see each other at horse racing events, but they don't spend a lot of time in each other's pockets. Anne has her own circle and life, but I'm sure when they meet there is a lot of very animated discussion about horses. Ms. Levin also noted in her biography that the death of Prince Philip in April 2021 too played a role in bringing closer Anne and Camilla, as they joined forces to support the grieving Queen after the loss of her husband of 73 years. Ms. Levin wrote, The warmth has increased since Prince Philip died, as the priority to be there for the Queen and try to keep the monarchy stable and respected took precedence compared to small differences in the past. Thank you.